Previously on Ease 9 Monstrum Knox. There's no fucking way he's a mastermind. I was just like, the developers are planning to mind fucking us this game. A few moments later. What? And now back to being the Crimson Lord. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is Jurab Ethereum bringing you another episode of Ease 9 Monstrum Knox. We last left off. What the absolute fuck? Adol is here in the prison? I'm, not, I'm sorry. I'm trying to still recover from that big mindfuck reveal and everything. It's like, wait. So, this, like, is. I have a feeling, like, okay. Ah! So many things going through my mind. Alright, so, after giving us some really big thoughts, you know, like, close thoughts, like, like closely looking into Adol, I think this is the real Adol. This is the Adol that was captured by those knights and was taken to the prison. And the Adol we woke up, like, as, like, I think I didn't notice this. I, 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 I mean, I'm such an idiot for not noticing. But the Adol that woke up, the Adol that, like, we were controlling, like, the first four episodes and such, that Adol had blue eyes. This real Adol has silver eyes. So I'm having a feeling that, like, the Adol with the blue eyes... He might have been, like, created by the knights or whatever's going on in this prison for something. But uh, I'm just so confused because when I look back at the first episodes, like, the people were asking and, like, interrogating that blue-eyed Adol as if he were the real Adol. But then, like, but I I'm just so fucking confused. Like, why would they interrogate the blue uh, Adol if he was created here? Like, do they know that he was created, or... I'm not sure. Then there's another thing that's going through my mind. Why does the adult with the blue eyes have the memories of the real adult? Because, like, the blue-eyed, like, uh, adult seemed like he knew everything that happened to the real adult. Or, like, you know, like, his past adventures, like, the circumstances that led up to him being a prisoner and everything. Why does that blue-eyed adult know so much? And, like, you know, it's because of the fact that he knew exactly the same as Adol that I didn't ex expect anything at all. If he didn't know that I would have, like, been able to figure out that, oh, this isn't the real Adol then. But Doki managed to figure it out because he felt different. But still, I'm just confused about this. Like, again, why would they, like, interrogate that Adol? Why not the real one? I can only hazard a guess. One guess to, like, Try and like make sense of what is going on, you know. You know, like how like the Lemures, that's their real name. The Lemures like exist in the Mushroom Knox, but we found a creature that looks similar to the Lemure in this world inside the prison depths. I have a feeling that the the Grimwald Knox is actually a parallel world of sorts. Like you know, like like. It's very hard to explain this, but try to, like, uh, imagine yourself in a mirror, right? You're looking at a mirror, and you see a reflection upon yourself. I have a feeling that the Grimwald Knox is a reflection of the real world. The Lemures are, like, you know, maybe they're special to that world, and, like, uh, whatever's happening in the prison is trying to, like, replicate the Lemures in some ways. Or maybe, like, the Grimwald Knox is the distant future. I'm not entirely sure, but... but but that's the case, then what about Lacrimosa of Donna? Then again, like, well, Lacrimosa of Donna happened in the distant past, so... Uh, okay, let, let me, like, go back to what I was saying. So I have a feeling that the blue-eyed Adol might be the mirror reflection of the real Adol. Like, he was created, like, I, I don't know if he was created or, like, like, I, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. But yeah, that's my theory. Like, uh, the Grimwald Knox, that's like a parallel world, or, or a mirror world of sorts. Another thing I noticed, and I can't believe I didn't, like, like realize this until now. Like, ooh, wait, more stuff? Yeah, whatever. Oh, wait, I can't see it. Oh. That's not good. Oh, the Dandelion, a bar that doubles as a mushroom's base of operations. Its namesake symbolizes Adol's ability to take root and blossom no matter how barren the land before floating off into the wind on a new journey. Okay, so, uh, okay, prison cell block. A jail block in Baldrick prison made up of a single inmate cells lined in rows. Adol had previously been imprisoned here. Okay, so as I was saying, like, God dang it, I kind of forgot. Oh yeah, that's right. 
uh, I was going to like look at the monstrums because I did notice one thing in particular. You know how like the uh, the adult that's out there right now has blue eyes. I noticed in like you know when I look back at the videos I've done, it seems that Aprilis has the same blue eyes, and I think that the monstrums also had it, except for a few. I think White Cat had the blue eyes, but I think her like eyes are a little bit brighter than adults and. Aprilis. So I'm having a feeling that Aprilis went through the same thing that the adult that was out there, the blue-eyed adult, is like experiencing right now. Then that means that the Aprilis that is in this, like, uh, you know, in this, like, prison must still be here then. If the Aprilis with the blue eyes is still out there. But then how does this all tie with the Monstrum and the the powers of a monstrum. If it is true that the Aprilis that we've been talking to is not the real one, then why didn't that Aprilis go to the real Adol? And another thing that's like, uh, you know, going through in my mind is like, you know, the re- the- the- shit, this is all fucking confusing to figure out. The blue-eyed Adol, he was called Inmate 217. Why call them numbers? Do they call Adol the same in this one? I'm- I'm just so confused, guys. I'm sorry. I'm just so fucking confused. It is kind of funny, though, because, like, uh, I joked before about, like, uh, the developers, like, wanted to, like, uh, mindfuck us, like, about the, you know, that old dude who was, like, who might be the mastermind behind all this. But it turns out, the mindfuck was with us the entire time. Ha, pretty clever, developers. Pretty fucking clever, you sons of bitches. So, yeah. Uh, I don't, I don't... I don't know what to expect from this story anymore. I, I can't trust the developers anymore. I can't trust the writers, okay? Every moment, I'm having a feeling that it's gonna be a mindfuck, okay? Because, you know, E is 9. Monstrum Nox, more like mindfuck Nox, if you can catch my drift. So yeah, I'm gonna, like, uh, try and figure out what the fuck's going on in this prison. And I'm having the feeling that this, like, uh, shiny thing here is a key. Unless it's a fork, in this case. Yeah, that dude we were talking about, he's pretty fucking clever. He might be the mastermind behind this entire fucking game. And also, like, Addo's at, like, level 10 for some reason. I wonder why. It's very funny, because, like, pretty sure Addo should be, like, level 100. Especially with what happened in, like, Rosa of Donna. What the fuck, Addo? You've been slacking. So, yeah, let's try to get out of this fucking cell. There appears to be something sh shimmering on the floor. Pretty sure it should be shining. The real Addo extended his arm with all of his might, reeling this shiny object with his fingers. Oh, a wire? Okay. You're awake. Uh, who are you? Where am I? Uh, who are you? Wait, where am I? As you can see, you're involved in prison. Okay, where in the prison am I? How I how long have I been here? I'm afraid I don't know. I've just been assigned to watch you. Okay, I need to speak with someone outside. Uh, what's going to happen to me? Sorry, but I don't have the answers you want. Uh, is this the same dude as before, like who was talking to the blue-eyed Adol? I don't think it is. I'll bring you food and water, and I'll check up on you on my rounds. Don't try anything funny, okay? Yeah, don't try to like you know strangle me with that wire you have there. Oh, you see that? Sorry. Even if you somehow get out of that cell, you'll never find your way out of the prison. Are you challenging me? That, oh, what the fuck? It's like, so, uh, this is happening at the same time, but, like, wait, didn't, like, Adol get captured ten years ago? Wait, wait, but what, I'm confused, because this Adol was asleep the, for, like, ten years? How does that make any sense? I'm confused. I'm just so fucking confused. Chapter 2. The White Cat's Melancholy End. Yeah, quite a way to end the episode off, isn't it? Twilight Shard. What? 106 acquired? Oh, wait, is that what the, what the things are for? A few days later. The dandelion. Look at-
could be in my gay aura. So, you must be the alter ego of the white cat, huh? You're pretty cute. Don't take this the wrong way, but I was expecting someone a little more outgoing. Shut up, doggy, okay? Like, Kersha is a cute cinnamon bun. I'm sorry to disappoint. I thought that if I talked a certain way, I might gradually become more like that. Ah, oh, so that's why you sounded different. I also didn't think Addo, well, the, the real Addo, I mean, what am I talking about? Would find out the way he did. Kind of embarrassing. Haha, <laughs> I'm just happy that you felt comfortable enough to visit as is. This bar was designed to be a secure location where monsters can collaborate. You'll be safe here. Make yourself a home. Thank you very much. I didn't know the prison was in such a rough state. We'll need to find you guys a way to check out the other sectors. And also find the real idol! That's not all. I have new information to report. Not too long ago, I was digging through a list of prisoners for the past six months. I discovered that some people were detained despite having no charges. There are rusty people who haven't done anything wrong? Those bastards. Well, I, I kind of go through the same thing too with three ladder, but I wouldn't know. Well, fucking god, it, it feels it feels kind of weird that Doggy doesn't like really know that the owl next to him isn't the real one. I wonder how many innocent people are there now. Currently, at least five that I know. Still, that's too many falsely convicted criminals to be a simple fox pass. Your friend, you see one of them? Yes. I'm wondering then, like, is Adol his friend? That would be weird because wouldn't Parks know Dogi and like recognize Adol, the one that's a fake? I don't know. Now that I think about it, like, I keep joking about how like Parks may be the final villain of this fucking plot, but I actually think differently. I think like, uh, you know, do you remember that dude? Like, it was a priest of sorts who was like disappeared a while ago. I'm having a feeling that Parks is that dude. I forgot his name, though. What if we break into the prison? We might find him there. Ah, that's right. What do they look like? I'm afraid I don't know, but any information you can find could help. How do you not know how, what your friend looks like? That makes no sense. Edel, be able to look out for anyone who looks like they might be one of them, okay? Sure thing. I'll keep an eye out for my real self. Wait, what? What? <laughs> Here I thought Baldu was supposed to be a safe place. Speaking of which, I hear one of the monsters is particularly dangerous. He will supposedly attack anyone bearing any semblance of a warrior, unprovoked. What is that, Hawk? The feral Hawk, right? Uh, yeah, what's he like? Well, he's kind of a bit edgy. Uh, I figured as much. Well, how to put this, he's aggressive and rowdy with a bad tempered boot. He's not even afraid of the Roman soldiers or the Hieroglyph Knights. He's also been especially unruly when he gets drunk. Now that sounds like a guy you lock up and drop the key into the ocean for. Believe me, Warden Belger has been trying for a long time. The Warden is a virtuous man. Yeah, the bald dude! For the time being, Adol, the fake Adol, your goal is to undo the barriers around the city. How the fuck am I supposed to do that? Oh, that's right, I forgot. The boss from Knox. Yo, yeah, man. I can't wait to hear a pro do more of that edgy shit that does fucking nothing for us. Oh, it's gonna be so good. You should also search for other ways to sneak into the prison. I'm coming with you. Let's go, Adol. Yes, let's go, Kershaw, my cute little cinnamon bun. How old is Kershaw, anyways? I swear to God, if she's illegal. I'm gonna be mad. Because I wanna, you know. Chapter 3 The Feral Hawk's Fury. Perfect. That means we're gonna get him in our, in our party next. Oh, Adol, I nearly forgot. There's something I wanted to show you. Wait, wait, what? Is that the same lantern that Oprilus had? What's with the lantern? It's an antique lantern or something. What's with the lantern? Heh, <laughs> it beats your curiosity, doesn't it? Funny story. Last night, on my way home from the shop, a woman approached me. She was dressed in black, said her name was Aprilis. Oh my goodness, does that mean she said a lot of edgy shit that like did nothing for you? Yup. Kinda weird, isn't it? Yep, it is fucking weird. That fucking edgy girl. Out of nowhere, she hands me this weird looking lantern. The Lantern of Crossing, she called it. 
Oh my god, that sounds really edgy. What the fuck? I'm not, I'm not gonna let you live that down, Aprilis. Said I could use it to help the Crimson King. Can it really help us with a lantern? Wow, Aprilis, you're really helpful, you know that? Hey, if what she said was true, then it must be able to. I mean, we went through a lot of weird stuff already, so what the, why the fuck not? The Grimwald Nox you were just talking about. It's like an alternate world monsters are forced to fight in, right? Well, it could be also like a, an alternate universe. Apparently, anyone, monster or not, can get into the Grimwald Nox with this lantern. So I figure, hey, what's there to lose? Well, everything to lose, doggy, because you could die there. If there's something I can use to help you, then it's all right in my book. I'm counting on you, doggy. Reminds me of the Isle of Seren. Haha, <laughs> yeah, it's just like the raid battles in Castlevania Village, those hard as fuck raids. And that's not all it can do. This lantern can recreate instances of Grimwald you've encountered in the past. How the fuck does that work? Nah, I don't know, she didn't really explain that part. If you think that's something you'd want to check out, come see me. One last thing, turns out there's a use for those Twilight Shards you've been picking up. With this lantern, you can exchange them for something that might come in handy. That just about sums it up. Makes no fucking sense, but let's just roll with it. Keep giving it a good fight out there, alright? Alright. Also, I'm not the real adult. Wait, what? What? The Dandelion. A prime location for your heart hideout. Before you venture into the city, speak to your friends in the Dandelion first. Ah, I see. Collaborators. Companions who support adults' monster activities will gather at the Dandelion. More collaborators will join as quests are completed and the story progresses. Collaborators will spend their time hanging around the Dandelion. You can ask for help or receive rewards by speaking to them. Make the most of the Dandelion as the base of your adventure. Will do. Members of the Dandelion will provide support during Grim Wild Knox battles. Check party member and companion support skills under the People tab at, of the journal. Support skills are enhanced by raising affinity levels. Sure thing. Alright, let me see this. Check this out. Also, I'm like one level below Kershaw. I gotta fix that shit. No one's allowed to be one level above me, okay? I love you, Kershaw, but oh, actually, I'll wait until I level up. Yeah, oh, actually, let me do this. There we go. And then we use one extra level up. There we go. Okay, so let's see. Parks. An easygoing middle aged man, Adol met in the prison. Purposefully gets confined to see if. A wrongfully imprisoned friend was alive. Veteran Command, level 1. Temporarily Battle Gauge Regen. Okay, that's nice. <laughs> Chante, Dandelion Bar Manager. The fabulous bar manager of the Dandelion. Sympathetic to Adel's cause and gay for him. He provides guests with the top-notch service and advice, and he's also gay for Adel. Oh yes, Adel doll, please get naked for me. Yeah, no. Grimmont Knox Support Skill. Passionate Cheer, level 1. Revive plus temporary health regen. Oh my goodness, that sounds really good. And Yufa Gamberg. Hmm. Yufa G Wait, is that the same girl as before? I don't think it is. Is it? I don't know. I don't think it is. Okay. The waitress at the Dandelion's Bar. Friendly, hardworking, and good at her job to boot. Grimwald's support skill. Battle cry, level 1. Temporary reduced damage taken. Ooh, nice. Okay, anything else? I don't think so. Oh, wait, here's the one. Guardsmen. Guards employed to secure order at Baltic Prison. They never miss their daily training, not even once. Yeah, sure game, sure. I'm pretty sure there's some slackers in between there. Now, what's this do? Examine... Twilight Shards. Use a lantern of crossing to exchange Twilight Shards for items and materials. Excess Nox Gauge will be converted to shards at the end of each story segment. I see. Stored... As a special material in the other tab of the item menu. Fill the Nox gauge by defeating Lemuris and completing quests. Okay. I thought that was like, you know, like, uh, you know, that thing where like uh, I fit, helped the girl out with the butterflies. I thought those were just like being an asshole. That would have been so funny. Okay, so I don't know what I'll need. So I'll have to like, uh, how much can I get actually? Only one, I think? No, actually, no. Hold on. 100. Gee, these cost like 100. Jeez, these things cost a lot. What the fuck? I'll just wait later then. Speak with your collaborators. Okay. Hello, dude. Mr. Uh, you know, evil dude or something. I don't know. I'm just making this joke too much. 
Ah, that reminds me, Adol. Doki informed me that you were putting together a map of Bald Duke. It just so happens that I am too curious about the topography of this region as a whole. It would be wonderful if you could share your progress with me every so often. I don't mind at all, but it's in it for me. I don't mind at all. You are doing me a great service. I'm definitely not going to use this to backstab you and, like, you know, eventually destroy the world or anything. Were I not a fugitive in a clumsy clod, I did not hesitate to lend you a hand. Alas, I must depend on you to gather information in the prison. Yeah, map completion. Complete your map by exploring, then report it to part of the dandelion. You can check how much you've explored from the map menu. Total explored. How much of Ball Duke and its surrounding areas you've mapped. Explored. How much of the selected area you've mapped. You'll receive a reward for every 10% of Ball Duke you explore. Make it a habit of reporting in very often. Report to Togi if Parks is unavailable. Ooh, there's gonna be moments where he's unavailable. That's suspicious. Here you go, the map. Let's see here. Well now, this is wonderful. This map may very well be the paradigm, parad oh paradigm for cartography in the region. I'd like you to have this. Ooh, a rice potion. Thank you very much. I should like get like more potions and such. Do show me your map again once you've made more progress. Best of luck, Adol. Don't die out there. I won't. Okay, anyone else? Can I go in here? Oh, yes, I can. Oh, yeah, that's right. I, I kind of forgot to, like, mention this, but, like, uh, there's a person in my, vi my videos recently who's been, like, liking my videos. Thank you so very much for, like, uh, you know, helping me out, like, uh, you know, leaving those likes. Because you may not realize this, but those likes have been really helpful because I wanted motivation to keep making these videos, you know? Like, it feels really awful when I, I don't even get a single like on any video I make. I just want, like, one like at least. You know, so thank you very much for like uh, leaving those likes. It, I I really appreciate those. It gives me that excitement to keep making more E9 videos. You know, because I really really like this game. I really want to love it, and I can't wait to love it more and more and more and more and more. So please, if you can, you don't have to, but if you can, please leave a like down below. I greatly appreciate that. Okay, Dogi, give me a holler if there's something I can do. Use material to install and enhance relics to assist you in Grimmauld Nox battles. You can craft ritual relics to increase fiend durability or lure enemies. I don't know how you can do that, Dogi. This is completely different from, like, Lacrimosa of Donna, where you just have to build a camp. What the fuck? Yeah, no, I have the powers of a demon. Well, technically, we monsters are demons, Dogi. Select the relic, then enhance it with the required materials. Ritual relics are placed on the field automatically. New relics will unlock as the story progresses. Challenge a Grimmauld Nox of the past. You can take on a previous Grimmauld Nox by speaking to Dogi. Reprisals will not expend your Nox gauge. Retry battles with enhanced ritual relics. Earn extra materials and, ex and experience points. Enhance your ritual relics and aim for the higher ranks and scores. Sure thing. Uh, let's see. Enhanced relics. Ritual relic decoy. Disorients enemies by drawing them away from the fiend. Enemies will target and attack nearby decoys. Decoy durabilities will display beneath the fiend durability during battle. Decoys can be destroyed, but will fully restore at the end of the battle. Enhancing decoys increases durability and the number installed. Surviving decoys are added to your total score. Perfect. Let's see. Okay, I don't have to spend money, do I? That's perfect. Yeah, give me that. Level 2. With some iron ore. Okay. Give me a decoy. And another decoy. Spirit Lumber now. Hmm. What do I get that? Okay, and upgrade this again. I need more iron ore. That. Alright, talk. It's not Joseph Prillis. Feels like we've only glim glimpsed the surface of an ocean of secrets. At least we managed to secure a base of operations we can call home. Carla sure pulled through for us. This bar turned out better than I could have hoped. Anyway, you're going out into the city, aren't you? I'll keep my ears open for rumors about the Monchons and the prison. Thanks, you did. <laughs> Can I talk, talk to you? Yeah, talk. The Yodra's incarcerations and the Hawk are both troubling matters. Despite that, we must persevere. 
I would be out investigating myself if I wasn't the fugitive. Well, technically you are too, but yeah, you know, you're the main character and all. Forgive me for being unable to share your burden, but you're the only one who can enter the prison. Only you. Yeah, sure, thanks. Okay, so there's nothing yet. I'm betting that, like, uh, this might be a forgery or something. There might be a character who, like, you know, can forge items and such. Maybe. Now, oh, well. Who else is here? Oh, I, I see. So they move the, sh the uh, you know, the shelf and everything. Hmm. But I wonder why, like, no one's going to, like, uh, you know, like, suspect this place. It's just suddenly popping up and everything. Hmm. Must be my imagination or something. Alright, hello, Chante. Hello, Adult Doll. Hello there, Adult Darling. As you can see, I I'm trying to, like, figure out what perfect voice that voice I can give this dude. But I think I'm going to give him the Fort Ferdinand voice for now. Hello there, Adult Darling. As you can see, the deadline is absolutely bursting at the seams. Hopefully, it's not just a fad. We have only just opened. It'll be my job to win the hearts of every customer so they keep coming back. And you, especially. Oh, that's right. You're going out for your work, aren't you? Ah, uh, I can't wait to see you return. Body sweating and your abs rippling. You'll need to keep your energy up, so let me know if you're feeling famished. I'll prepare a fabulous staff meal made special for hard workers like you. Hard, if you get what I mean. That sounds pretty, you know, disgusting, but thanks, dude. It's now too soon to take you up on that. That sounds pretty good to me, thanks. <laughs> but of course, my dear. You'd get tired of the food if you were always eating from the standard menu. So I thought you'd enjoy it more if the staff meals were different than usual. You know, it may be hard to believe, but I used to helm a kitchen in a pub once. All I need are the recipes and main ingredients, and I'll make you whatever your heart desires. Oh, and we can't forget about the small shopping fee of the other supplies. That's a huge help. Dang, it's not free? Well, that's a huge help. <laughs> your recognition fuels my passion, my dear Adol, and my thongs, if you know what I mean. Why don't you start with flour? With it, I can bake baguettes for you. What are baguettes? You know, the long bread? Oh. Oh, I see. I get it now, Chante, you weirdo. I'm eager to see what kind of recipes you'll bring me, Adol, darling. Alright, yeah, yeah. Fuck. <laughs> this dude's just so funny. Preparing meals. Bring ingredients to Chante and have him cook for you. Preparing meals is cheaper than buying them from the store. If Chante is unavailable, Yufa will prepare food for you instead. Why are these characters unavailable? I'm not entirely sure. Supply recipes to expand the menu. Obtained recipes can be handed over to Chante by speaking to him. Certain townspeople can teach you new recipes. Pack a few meals before setting off on your journey. Sure thing. Alright, uh, talk. Now that I've said what I need to say, I have some paperwork I should tend to you at the trading period during my break. I'm leaving you for in charge while I'm gone, so help her if she needs it, alright? Sure thing. Okay, Flaky Baguette heals 400 HP and break rate up. Yeah, I should like uh, get those. Ah, oh, man. I'm really low on those, but could be worth it. Yes, yeah. Oh gosh, this dude. Oh wait, some below it. No, never mind then. Who are you? Caught the customer. Whoa! Didn't expect to find a joint like this here. Looks pretty cozy in here too. Maybe I'll grab me a drink or two. And this customer. The Robert Garrett's have been getting redder in the face by the day. I can't say I blame him though. What with how rowdy those mushrooms get. Yeah, I get it. Hey, Kersha! Oh, I spoke to Doggy earlier. I'm going to help him organize the equipment. I thought I could put my inventory management and finance experience to good use. I know that I won't always make the right choices, like what I did with Shantytown. Ah, uh, come on, Kersha. That was a good choice. People there were assholes. But if I do my best to help people with my flower shop, then I'll continue to grow too. And of course, I'm thankful that I have friends like you to support me. How old is Kersha? How old is Kersha? Please, tell me, Gabe. Please, do not tell me that she's illegal. I will fucking cry. Ah, god damn it. Ah, fuck. Kersha, you're so adorable, but you uh, God, must protect. Must protect. All right, uh. This is Raging Bull, right? It has to be Raging Bull. 
Hey, Addo! Can I grab you for a moment? Yeah, what do you need? Sorry, I'm busy right now. Yeah, what do you need? Great! Chante wanted me to show you something. His poor collection of you. What? He already, ha he already has a poor collection of me? What the fuck? Yeah, I know. That man is a hard worker when it comes to something he loves. That's not company, man. Ta-da! This is where we're putting all the requests we get. That's really helpful, Yufa. What kind of requests? I'm glad you asked. In the past few days, the Crimson King has made quite the impression on Bald Duke. He's gotten to the point where some people want him to help them with things for some fucking reason, despite them knowing that he's a criminal and everything. Yeah, this makes total sense, right? No, it does not, Yufa. These requests are posted right here in the bulletin board. Chante. Oh, okay, I thought I was talking for a moment. Chante said that completing them could improve the Marshal's reputation. Whether or not you want to do them is up to you. But you're gonna get the bad ending if you don't. Uh, uh, yeah, this, yeah, I knew it, I knew it. This is definitely, like, Bridgie Bull. She's doing the same salute that Bridgie Bull does in the profile. But be sure to check the bulletin board whenever you come by the Dandelions, okay? Bulletin board quest. Obtain information on new quests from the Dandelions bulletin board. Check the bulletin board to view the current available quests. Examining a quest with the new icon will automatically add it to the quest tab of the journal. Postings will list the client as well as details about the request. Remember to check the bulletin board when new quests are added. Hidden quests, however, won't appear on the bulletin board. I see. Your friends at the Dandelion will now be assisting you in various ways. You must dispel the magic barriers in order to continue your investigation. Barriers are dispelled by overcoming the Grobalt knots in a Miasma Vortex. Go to the main gate in the central district first, but keep an eye on the bulletin board. Or else you fucking die! Nox Gage, Miasma Vortices. More fucking storylines! A Miasma Vortex will appear in front of the barrier once the Nox Gage exceeds 100. How to fill the Nox Gage? Complete quests, large increase. Defeat Lemuries. Lemuries. Or. Ugh, it's very hard to like, you know, figure out how to pronounce that. Defeat Lemuries. Miasma Vortex will appear before a barrier. Vortices are marked on the minimap. Alright. Thank you very much. Check the bulletin board. Illness inquiry. Client. Kaya. Deadline. Short. Folks in the agricultural district have been taken ill one after another lately. We've never had an outbreak this bad before. Can anyone help us find out what might be causing this? Okay. Missing family report. I probably should like, uh, you know, do it in their voices and everything. Not my family. Just so we're clear here. See, I'm a landlord, and one of my housing unit's tenants have been missing for about a week now. The house? Well, it has been a bit of a, shall we say, history. Needless to say, I'm plenty worried. Come see me at the Fountain Plaza of the Central District if you would like to know more. Okay, then. Alright, let me talk to you. I'm so sorry to hear about everything that happened to you, Adol. Just know that you're not alone. Chante and I are here to support you. And I'll eventually join your party later once you figure out I'm Ragey Bull. Just leave the bar to us. Sure thing. Anything else? I don't think so. Alright, let's head on out then. I'm gonna like, uh, complete the quest first since they give the most EXP for the, uh, Grimmon Knox. Check the main gates at Central District. Now, where is that? Is it here? No, it isn't. Endless Inquiry. What is this thing? Oh, there's another quest over here too. And another thing here too. Graffiti, graffiti, I think it's graffiti. Man, there's a lot of stuff going on here. What the fuck? Okay, so he said to check the main gates, central district. This one, right? I think? I don't know. Hello, Roman soldier. There's this group of righteous criminals who call themselves the Monstrums. Not to worry, though. It's, it's only a matter of time before they get their dues. Disturbing the peace is bad enough, but mocking us, we won't stand for it. Yeah, sure. Oh, you are oddly... You stand out a lot, lady. Well, who the fuck are you? So, this is Bald Duke. Well, first things first, I'd better go introduce myself to Dr. Eric. You are uh, you, you stand out a lot, lady. You might be you might be important later. Is that... Why is this dude still here? What the fuck? You're there, save your business! Get the fuck out! Why are you still here, dude? What the fuck? This guy's... This guy's weird. Here, dude. Port Landmarks. 
That brings your total discovery land bars up to three. Thanks, man. Seriously. Oh, and don't worry. I didn't forget your award. Better not. Here's a little something for you. Ah, oh, life elixir. Thank you very much. If you find any more land bars, just swing on by and let me know. Okay, wait to see what you've come across next. Sure thing. Okay, this dude here, Vala. Hmm. That assistant of mine has been nowhere to be seen these past few days. She's difficult to miss, so I'm certain someone has seen her. And yet, as if it's as if she disappeared into thin air. Should I report to the Hierarchy Knights? What? What assistant? I don't know. What are those monsters stir up next? Several warning posters are displayed on the bulletin board. One reads, Adol, the Jailbreaker, and another, the Crimson King. You wonder how the citizenry would react if they knew the two were one of the same, and you know, there's another Adol out, out in the prison! Ah, oh, god, the mindfucks are getting to me. That is, like, really strange, though. So, like, Hawk is, like, really high up, like, 9 million. White Cat is, like, surprisingly, like, 7.4 million. Raging Bull is 2.2 .2 million. I'm like a uh, 3.6 million. And Doll is like 1 million. But for some reason, what was his name again? I kind of forgot his name. But that dude is like less than a million. Has he not been doing much lately? I don't know. Hey dude, give me, refill my potions please. Ah, oh, I need more glossy leaves. Fuck. It's not good. What the fuck? Okay, anyone else thought to? I don't think so. I still need to get to that chest, but meh. No way, nothing I can do about that. There should be like also one more pedal here, but I can't see. I don't can't seem to find it anywhere. Oh, hey, dude, Custodian Vesta. Well, I'll be. If it isn't Miss Kersha, it's good to see you here today. Hello, Mister Vesta. You're hard at work today, as always. I didn't know you worked here too. In addition to the central district. Haha, <laughs> I've lived in this town for much longer than I care to admit. I'm very fond of it. Times have changed, and people don't share my love for it, or for the littering and graffiti. It gives this worn out old man something to do and strive for each and every day until I die. That's true, and also kind of body, but I haven't seen much graffiti at all. Well, I did see one recently, and it did, like, activate my murder instinct. Yeah, sure it did, Chris, it sure did. Huh, it's so weird, though. It feels like I'm, like, moving slower for some reason. I don't know why. Hey, girl, got anything new? Ooh, a leather necklace. HP plus 300. 2,000! What the fuck? Okay, won't be able to get to get it today. You have to wait for a bit. Okay, so where do I go? It's like... Quest here. Missing family reports. Question mark. There's several areas you need to go. This is the agricultural district. So this is the central district. Let me see if I can find where this place is. There, yeah, dude. Geoffrey. Oh, are you perhaps here in regards to my request? That's right. You're Geoffrey, right? We heard that some of your tenants disappeared. Hmm. You two appear to be rather young to be doing all this dangerous stuff. I have to wonder if you're up to the task. Oh yeah, we definitely are. Definitely are. Then again, this could prove a rather pressing predicament. I can tell you more about it, provided you're willing to accept my request. We're all ears. We got other things to do. We're all ears. Oh, thank heavens. I'll get straight to it then. You see, I own a very few properties here in the Central District. But I haven't been able to get a hold of the family living in one of my townhomes. You think they've got it missing? Well, they aren't exactly the type to skip on rent or, or run off to the night. That alone is worrisome enough, but with all the talk of people being spirited away lately... Spirited away? It's when people just fish to thin air. Rumors like that spread in politics sometimes. Probably in the Grimwald Knox, then. They're probably dead! Rumors are, of course, only rumors, but it has been a week since their disappearance. I was about to go inquire about their previous residence at Artisan Lane. I was wondering if you could do the same here, as much as you can, that is. Leave it to us. Well, we'll start, we'll start right away, then. That'd be, that'd be a great help. You have my thanks. Well, actually, we're gonna dick around a little bit before we do that. The town home in question is behind the Pendleton Company and the Cathedral. Perhaps one of the residents near it will be able to tell you something. Thank you again for all the help. I'm counting on you. No problem! 
First things first, we should ask around. We can start with the back streets near the house. Alright. Can I talk to you again? I was about to go inquire about their previous residence, or Yeah, I know. This dude is here too. Things have calmed down since Galia first became a Roman territory eight years ago, but the people's discontent have remained strong throughout. You don't suppose that has anything to do with the Cardinal's disappearance? Ah, uh, yeah, the Cardinal. Yeah, that's what, that's the person I was talking about when it came to like that, uh, you know, what was his name? Parks. Yeah, I think Parks is his Cardinal, cardinal dude, or maybe the friend of Parks is the Cardinal dude. <sighs> Once one worries leaks in, the rest of the flood is soon to follow. Fucking sucks. Is this dude still talking and stuff? It is Arturia's Hargulf nice to protect the fair people of the city. We'll take care of this monster sooner or later, and the Feral Hawk especially. Fuck that dude. White Cat supremacy. Aw, oh, I appreciate your compliments to me. No problem, White Cat. Have a nice day. No problem. Alright, this kitty here, girl. Disappearances? You mean those people from the back streets, right? I bet it was those bookie monsters who took them. Yeah, the monsters. Bookie monsters? Yep, never heard of them, mister. They're these weird, murky monster things that show up in town sometimes. Usually they're invisible, but some days they pop up in the corners of the streets. People say see them curses you with bad luck. It's a pretty long-standing folk tale here in Bald Duke. A few months ago, I would have considered it just a rumor myself. But after finding out about the knots, I started to think otherwise. Am I whispering or what? I don't even know. There's this weird, murky monster thing that show up in town sometimes. Maybe those people disappear because they ran into them. Maybe. First, I need to check the main gates of the central district. Wherever that is. Where are the main gates? I keep saying this main gate. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's this way. This place? No? I don't know what this, like, gate is, to be honest. It's not showing it on the map or anything. Well, I guess it'll just appear on its own, I guess. I, actually, let me check the... Let me zoom out a bit. Or maybe, like, uh, this area here? I don't know. Well, well. Hello there, woman. Have you heard? One of the families in the neighborhood disappeared, just like that. They've got the worst luck, I tell you. Almost makes you want to move out. The worst luck? Um, we actually happen to be looking into the matter. Do you know anything that might help? Afraid not. The kids were always quick with a cheery hello whenever I saw them. One thing's for certain, though. They weren't the kind of to up and leave without a word. I see. Thank you for the time. Hmm. Okay, so there should be one more, right? Yeah, right here near the uh, shanty town. Oh, I see a thing up there. I can't get up to it. I wonder. No, I cannot. Okay, I've got to like, find a, a way to like uh, glide down there, I guess. Actually, it might be hard to like, you know, get up there. Need a way to glide up. Glide, I guess? I don't, this, can we glide? I don't know. Yeah, I did. Talk to young man. You want to know about the family that got whisked away? Well, the father was a smithy, and not just any smithy either. Apparently, he got kicked out of the craft guild for making cursed weapons. Ooh, cursed weapons? Cursed how, exactly? How should I know? What, do you want to buy some? Hell yeah, I do! I mean, he wasn't a bad guy or anything, but honestly, I, was, I wanted nothing to do with him. So, he wasn't well liked. No way, no way to know if that relates to the disappearances, though. You're worthless to me! DIE! Well, we've heard enough concerning rumors to last us a while. But no one seems to actually know where that family went. Maybe something really did happen to Rob the Roll. Let's check the house itself. I, I agree. Something about this gives me a sinking feeling. I think we might already know what we're up against. According to Jeffrey, it should be at the end of this alleyway. Let's go check it out. I see. Well, let's check it out then. Let's do it now. Up. Uh, what is this? Well, that explains it. It's an entrance to the Grimwald. 
Yeah, no doubt about it. Hey, might want to like uh get the other party members too. Hopefully. It seems a little smaller than usual somehow. But considering where it is, it's got to have something to do with that missing family. We should head inside it once we're all ready and prepared. Hey, right, we're prepared now. Is it the miasma vortex? Yep. Will the other monsters be here? I think... I, I don't know. I doubt it. It's another criminal Knox. Isn't it? We've been here before. Looks like it. If it really is a criminal Knox, probably dead. Damn. That sucks. Lemuries, they're here. No, my cat, it's Lemures. No, it's Lemuries. This is no place for anybody to be. We have to go look for them. Oh. What did you say? What cat? I wasn't paying attention. Ow. What the fuck even are those things? Now I think about it. Koma Sidorian. Oh, they're weak against Pierce. There you go. I want to explore this place a little bit more. Yeah, what was that, like, uh, enemy? Now I think about it. Cosmarian. A type of Lemuri with two faces, back to back. They sprinkle curses about as they approach their victims, cackling madly all the while. Ooh. Yep, looks like it. How are they still alive? I don't know. Oh, who are, who are those two? Oh, there's a boy, okay. Get back, Archie! No, Tito, Archie, I'm sorry. Don't give up- I, I guess that's like, uh, Kersha. Don't give up yet! Huh? M monstrums Stay behind us, okay? Handle, let's go! I mean, it's so easy to like do flash move. Flash move. Oh gosh, no, not those guys, not those flower fuckers. Ah, more of them. All right, time to kill all of you. Yes, I'm gonna splat your blood. Alright, time to die! Dead. That was easy. Whoa! You did it! You won! I think that's uh, one of those guys. You're the monsters, right? I heard about you guys. I hope everyone's okay. Um, you're the people who went missing, right? Yes. I'm Tito. I'm an apprentice blacksmith, following in my dad's footsteps. I don't know how my sister and I got here. Yeah, it makes no fucking sense. Yeah, I know. This stuck. Uh, yeah, it's pretty hard to explain. Yeah, I know. I want to pet her so bad. Hey, Kershaw, can I pet you? Um, not now, Mr. Adol. We should probably shouldn't say our identities. Oh, sorry. Oh, what the fuck? I'm not scary. Am I? Well, to be honest, Mr. Adol, you kind of are. Aww. 
Haha, <laughs> looks like we didn't have anything to worry about. Haha, <laughs> hey, you guys are pretty good. Call me Glusko. Glusko? Glusko? <laughs> I guess it's Glusko. I'm just a humble blacksmith, and these two rook rats are my kids. You saved us all. You have my deepest gratitude. What? We've been here for a week? It didn't feel that long. I could have sworn it hadn't even been, what, a few hours since we arrived. Oh, does time, like, work differently here than in the real world? Like, uh, like, it moves a little bit slower here? I guess so. Really? Then maybe time just works differently here than it does in the real world. How does that make any sense? Whenever we return for the Grimmon Knox, it's like time hadn't moved at all. I guess we should count ourselves lucky if we made it in time. This is so confusing! What the fuck is going on? Yeah, no, girl. What the fuck is this game and this fucking, like, story? But I wasn't scared at all, because Daddy was here with us the whole time. You would've killed him, right, Daddy? Oh, uh, actually, Archie would've died. Right, Tito? Yeah, that's right, Archie. Well, we were kind of boned there. What are you doing in a place like this anyway? Why were the little Muries trying to hurt you? What are you doing in a place like this anyway? Oh, that. I reckon I'm here because of this hammer of mine. A hammer? Our family of blacksmiths have adopted some unorthodox methods through the generations. This hammer is used to forge sacramentals, objects with the power of to exorcise demons. I have an inkling that this was what attracted those demons. Sacramentals? I didn't know you could forge things like that. But if the hammer draws monsters, then they could be... Uh-oh. Nah, no more flowers! Ah! More monsters? There's so many of them! I want to splatter their blood so bad! No, Kersha, no. Dad, let's get out of here. I'm sorry. I wish I could, but I can't come with you. That's right. I'm Ben as a Prillis. Hello, Prillis! A Prillis? <laughs> yeah, oh god, dude. You gotta say more edgy stuff. No, shut up, Crimson King. I didn't think you would get involved with this. We are in an incomplete Grimwald Knox. Until the source is eliminated, Lemuries will continue to appear it will become a complete Grimwald. Do what must be done before that happens. The source? You don't mean... You don't mean... Haha! <laughs> Alright, you have me figured out. Regret is a powerful thing. I realized that after becoming this. I just want to see my two regrets one more time. What? I'd wager I'm in for a real scolding when I meet your mom on the other side. What?! What? What the fuck's going on? Dad? Gusko gave Tito his hammer. I... I'm sorry, son. I wanted to be there to see you become a fine blacksmith like me. But I know now that won't happen. Because you're going to be an even greater one. Archie, I have a very important task for you. Make sure your brother doesn't falter, okay? I'm just sorry I won't be there to walk down the aisle someday. Daddy! What the fuck? What the f- I'm sorry. This got sad all of a sudden. <laughs> With that, I have no more regrets. No, you can't leave us, Daddy! Dad, what about all the stuff that you were going to teach me? I've already taught you everything that I can. It's up to you now. Work hard and become your own blacksmith. I'll always believe in you two. And I'll always be nearby, watching you over you. Always. Wow, that got like really sad really fast. I, I didn't I didn't think at all that the dude was dead. What the fuck game? Oh, gosh. D -d Daddy! Daddy! D 
Dad, why? Why couldn't you come with us? Archie, Tito. Damn it, I wanted that hammer so bad. So, is there Dad? It would seem he had relinquished his lingering regrets. Rest assured, that hammer will never call forth the grandma again. Aw, oh, but I wanted it so bad. I leave the rest to you. And I wanted you to say more edgy lies, Aprilis. Fuck you! But how did that hammer call it forth to begin with? Just what is the Grimwald Knox? I'm curious too. It's like, hmm. I'm thinking that, like, again, it must be a mirror, but, like, it the, the time moves slower in that world, and, like, I, I'm confused. I'm kind of confused right now, to be honest. After reporting the siblings' safety to Jeffrey, they then brought them to the dandelion. So two years ago, your dad became ill and he... Oh, I'm sorry, Tito. Don't be. I wanted so badly to see him, even though I knew deep down I couldn't. I know Daddy is alive. He's alive, and I'm going to find him. Archie. After losing both their parents, they only, they're only solace is with each other. It's a shame. There's no question you that. But what about the elephant in the room? What is an elephant in the room? No, Adol. Yeah, how did someone other than the Watchums get into the Grimwald? Aprilis thinks that this was caused by Gus Gusko's feelings of regret. Your meeting with a departed individual is ample evidence of extraordinary phenomena. I mean, it makes no sense, but, well, this is an anime, kind of. It is clear that much is still to be learned about the Grimwald Knox. We have to do something before anyone else gets hurt. We got a job to do, Adol. Sure thing, uh, Raging Bull. I don't know why you weren't there to help us. You're going to fight all these monsters? Oh, he still has a hammer. For generations, my family forged sacramentals containing the power to exorcise demons. Maybe that's why all these weird things happened to things my dad forged. It got to the point where the other craftsmen ran him out of the artisan lane for it. Even then, my dad cared for Archie and me, no matter how sick or difficult it got for him. I know there were times he regretted teaching me to be a blacksmith, too. But after seeing him and being you, I know now what I have to do. I'm not a full-fledged blacksmith yet, but I'm going to help you with everything I've got. I'll even create the, the weapon that's going to kill God like the other girl in the last game. Somehow. I'm sure this is what he would have wanted. Tito... I just noticed that like uh, Archie looks kind of like a younger Mizuki. She's kind of adorable. Me too. I'm gonna help too by bashing the skulls open with my metal pipe. For Daddy and for you too, Tito. You two wish to join our cause? Hmm. I'm not so sure about this. Not so sure about what? I say, why not? The more, the merrier. Yeah, we can't just leave them. I wouldn't mind having the sacramental. Yeah, we couldn't just leave them. Yes, I agree with Adol. Children can't work at the bar, of course, but you seem to be helpful with in your own right. We've all got to pitch in so that the monsters can may fight at the very best. Okay, who's talking in parks? Okay. I, I kind of wish that they, uh, you know, moved to the character that's talking instead of, just, instead of just, like, staying in that one frame, you know? Best we give them something to do to keep them out of trouble. We can keep a close watch over them this way. Not you two parts. Okay, okay, you can stay. Really? You mean it? Yay, you can stay, you can stay! But it's not going to be easy, you know. Official staff members of the Dandelion are expected to work hard. No exceptions. But we always help each other out. With teamwork, we can do anything. Yes, ma'am. You. Oh, sorry. Yes, ma'am. You got it. And thus, Tito and Archie became the Dandelion's newest recruits. They pledged to aid the monsters by controlling their unique skills. Always happy to help. One thousand gold received. You gained the new allies, Tito and Archie.
You now have access to Tito Smithy and Archie's warehouse. Tito will now assist you in the room Mount Knox. Oh, the little girl won't? Okay. Tito and Archie are at the smithy. You should go and speak to them. Jesus Christ, guys. That that side quest suddenly became like really sad and dark at the same time. What the fuck? I didn't expect it to get that ridiculous in like a nanosecond. Okay then, guys. Wow, you and your what the fuck? That just got me off guard. Tito. 14. A young boy from a long line of sacramental artisans uses his late father's hammer and craft to help alongside his sister, Archie. Grimwall support skill, mending hammer, temporary relic repairs, and healing hammer, remove temporarily nullifies ailments. Alright, thanks. What about the other girl? Hmm. Don't know where she is. Hey there, Tito. You came, Maddle. In addition to enhancing your weapons, I can also forge accessories for you. Come by any time you need something's done. Tito Smithy. Tito can enhance your weaponry as well as craft accessories and sacramentals. You can enhance weapons on hand with materials alone. Use materials and gold to craft new sacramentals and accessories by selecting craft sacramental slash equipment. Press square to display and compare the stats of two accessories. Yeah, I know. And about those sacramentals. I'm not as good as my dad at forging them. The only way I can get one up to par is with a rubric, a kind of blueprint for making them. And, o and I only have the one that my dad passed down to me. If you can find any more of them, I'd appreciate it if you brought them to me. Of course I will. What's the one you can make now? The only sacramental I can make right now is a golden air pou pouch. Air pouch? Hair pouch? I don't know. It's supposed to give its owner good fortune. Ooh! 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 Give Tito rubrics to expand the selection of sacramentals you can craft. Sacramentals grant various benefits to the entire party. Hand any rubrics you find on your journey over to Tito. Oh, gold acquisition rate plus 20%? Oh, give me that. Can't wait to start forging something awesome for you, Adol. Sure thing. Give me that shit. Please. Oh, the four thick hides and like one hornville wing. I think I like to uh, get those. Can I? I don't know. Hands weapons, copper ore, oh, broadsword? A heavy long sword that wields a wide blade. Did I get that? Wait, when did I get that? Who the fucking knows? Alright, then I'll just like, uh, use some copper on this. Alright, thank you. Talk. This workshop's terrific. Thanks again for letting me use it. I may not be able to hold a candle to my dad just yet, but that won't stop me from trying. Sure thing, dude. Come back anytime. Hello there, little Mizuki. I love you so much. Fuck you! Well, I don't know what came over me, but... Yeah. Talk to Archie. Welcome to the storeroom. Doogie said I could be the protector of the Dandelion storeroom. Because, you know, I, I have the, the powers of a really buff little girl for some reason. So from now on, I'm in charge of all the food and supplies that you guys collect. I was actually going to ask you to bring some more supplies from outside. Then maybe you could exchange them for even better ones here. Sounds like fun, right? Right? Alright, Archie's Material Exchange. Materials collected in a large enough quantity can be traded for materials of a superior quality. These will be necessary to enhance weapons and craft equipment, so trade materials proactively. Sure thing. Alright, uh, talk. I'm still not really sure how to feel about all the stuff that happens with Daddy. But Daddy always told me to pay people back for their kindness. You know, I'm, I'm really starting to feel like that Archie is a, a little Mizuki. So let me know if you need anything, okay? I'll help out however I can. I'm gonna bash people's skulls up with my metal pipe! Exchange materials and food. Okay, so I can get more of these stuff too. Oh my god, I have so many faint drops. Okay, I think I need like a thick hide. So, yeah. Razor claws, drill fangs, a lot of stuff here. What the fuck? But it's gonna be so worth it. Oh man, it's gonna be good. Sell. You can now use the map to travel again. Okay, so what do you need for like the gear? 
a horn vile wing and a thick hide. All right, so I need four thick hides. Thank you. So I just need that uh one like what was it called? Hornville wing. Do you have that? I don't think you do. Oh, you do. Okay, anguish tear. Wow, a lot of stuff in, in these for that. I wonder if it's even going to be worth it. Hold on, let me see if I can buy it from that lantern. Oh no, I cannot. Well, that sucks. Alright then, I'll have to get it from here. Thank you. Alright, now to craft this thing. This sweet baby. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, I need, okay, I need two more. Damn! I did not think I... Oh, dang it, I didn't pay attention. Ah! I need more thick hides. Fuck. This game, I swear. Alright, let's try out this like other side quest over here. Oh, hello there, little kids. Hey, Eunice! I want to go to the Coliseum again! The Coliseum? Oh, where Felix works, right? I want to go too, but we'll have to see what Yufa says first. Ah! Oh, Yufa. It's complicated, Ellie. We'll ask her about it, okay? Maybe she'll be okay with it. Okay, Eunice! I can't wait! Huh, so Yufa has something to do with the Coliseum. Okay, talk to Mark. Phew, that's just about it for the morning harvest. That reminds me, Jack didn't look too well today. Was it just me? Okay, hello there. That pain of yours hasn't gone away for a while, Jake. Why don't you just go to the clinic already? I told you, I'm pretty perfect, perfectly fine. Stop overreacting. There's no need to bother the doc over some belly aching. You say that now, but I know you'll change your tune the second it gets worse. Um, is everything okay over here? You're not dying, are you? You're Kaya, right? The one who put in a request at the bar? Oh, I suppose you must have seen it then. Yes, something about the people around here getting sick lately. That's right. Whatever it is, it hit poor Jake here just this morning. Oh, stop it. What kind of farmer worth his salt cries to the doctor over something like this? Not this! Ew, he's vomiting out blood! Look at his splatter! Steady there, Cropper. Quit trying to look tough. Anyway, we don't know where this came from or how to stop it. But the knights and the garrison both say they're too busy to investigate. Can we ask you two to try and find out what's causing all this? We're on the case. We're a little busy, Ashley. I wonder if there's ever going to be an option of be an asshole and leave. That would be funny. We're on the case. Oh, thank you. Your help means a lot to us. Not at all. We'd never just leave someone in need to suffer. You said the pay started this morning. Have you eaten anything unusual lately? Nope. Not that I can recall. I started my morning farm work the same as always with a fresh loaf and a cup of water. It must be the bread. Um, you think so? Anything in the bread could have been baked away. Well, that mold, really, but whatever. It's probably the water. Well, fucking... Okay, game. Why did you even give me the fucking option? Speaking of which, it was probably drawn from that well over there, right? But we use that well for the farm, too. We'd be in trouble if it were to get infected. In that case, it's probably worth a quick investigation or two. Wait. Does that mean that I was right about the bread then, since the water would have, like, uh, you know, gone through the crops and everything? He would have eaten the bread. Whatever. Whatever, game. Whatever, you doing. Doing shit. Fucking bullshit quizzes and shit. Fuck you. Fuck you, writer. Fuck you. You should take Jake in. Go see the doctor, Kaya. We'll go check out the well while you do it. Alright. I'll do just that. Thanks again, kiddos. Sorry for all the bother. Quest, illness, inquiry, accepted. Okay, let's check out this fucking well. It better not be, like, the last, like, side quest or anything. Where something sad suddenly happens. Well, here's a well. And a pretty, um, well-worn one at that. I guess the people here never really needed to get their water anywhere else. We should check inside. There's something up with it for sure. You think so? I wouldn't know just looking at it. Yeah, that's because you don't have protagonist powers like me, Kersha. But 
I guess the only way to see for sure is from the inside. You can go whenever you're ready. Is there another stage or something? I don't know. Go inside the well. Yep. Oh. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Is this a, like, oh no, I guess not. Ooh, look at all those. Some toxic stuff. Ah! Battle! Look! Those weird thingies! Yeah, I know. What are these? Mushrooms? How did they get in here? Oh, come on, Christian. We fought them, like, like last episode. You should know these. Forget it! Let's just get rid of them! Sure thing. Oh, God, there's a lot of them! What the fuck? There's so many of them! So many of them, what the fuck? Oh god! I'm gonna die! What? I didn't realize there was so many of them. Oh gosh, okay. Okay, relax. Just eat this white white nut, please. Okay. Oh god, there's so many of them. Alright, time to kill ya! There we go. Whew! That was scary. Is everything right? Oh God! That's a, uh, yeah. Who have thought there'd be monsters inside the well? Oh my God! And recipe how many of them there were? They must have been contaminating the water. No wonder everyone's been getting sick. Judging from the interior of the well, those monsters haven't been here for very long. As far as you can tell, the rest of us should be able to use the well like normal again. Because that's how it works. Well, that shows that for now. Let's go tell Kaya and Jacob about what we found. Man, that was a scary experience. Oh, going up. Oh, look over there! Oh, the, the lady from four. There you are. These herds will get that stomach of yours all better in no time. The pain should go away, but promise me you won't overdo things, alright? You should call it a day and get some rest. Phew, you're a real lifesaver, Doc. I'll be... I'll be sure to take it easy for the day. We can't thank you enough, Doctor. Oh, you're back! How did things go? You recount the strange events that occurred within the well. There was what in the well? You're telling me I've been drinking monster bath water the whole time? Well, it's all well in the end. Well, we don't really know how we how they got rid of them, but we're just not going to ask questions. Now we have nothing to worry about. I am curious though. Just how did you? How, just how did you two manage to get rid of them all? Oh my gosh, the monsters did it for us. It wasn't so hard, really. Really now? I didn't realize you two were so strong. <laughs> Gosh. Uh, oh, he was just kidding. The bushes were the one who took care of them. Oh, what the hell, Kershaw? That was a good lie from me. Whoops. The mushrooms? I didn't even so much notice them. I always found them a bit frightening, but maybe they aren't so bad after all. By the way, Jake, I'm glad you seem to be feeling better. And, um, who's this? Oh, right. Kaya ran into the dock here, but over by the main gates. I thank heavens she did. To tell you the truth, I could hardly even walk. <sighs> Probably because you spent all your energy trying to hide it. You're lucky you caught me just before I'd gone to visit Dr. Eric. You're, f you're from out of town then? That's right. I'm a traveling doctor, studying medicine across the world. Alright then, Jake. Remember not to strain yourself. Take him home and make sure he gets rest. Would you, Car Kaya? Oh. Oh, you bet I will. But before I do, I have a little war for you all. These are from our fields. Fresh as can be. I hope you enjoy them. Wheat. Flour. Okay, thanks. Tomato. Thank you. Wow! 
Wow, they look delicious! Thank you so much! Kersha, these are ingredients. Oh yeah, I know, Mr. Adel. Think nothing of it. It's the least we can do to show our thanks. Come, come on now, Farmer Jake. Let's get you back home. All right, all right. Sorry for not introducing myself earlier, by the way. Ugh, it's so hard to do deep female voices. My name is Sarati. Sarati? Is that like an Egyptian name? Or was it like Iranian? I don't know. My name is Sarati. I'll be around town while I help out in the clinic. So please, so feel free to call if you need me. Of course, it's probably better if you don't need a doctor. But I get the feeling you two know your way around a little rough and tumble, if you don't know I mean. Wait, what? In any case, I had better go let Dr. Eric know about the today's incident. I'll be seeing you two to I'll be seeing you two later. I'm trying to get get a voice down. I'm trying to do like some kind of like a weird accent. Wow, that's the coolest doctor I've ever seen. She seems really put together, kind of like Carla in a way. But there's something else about her too. I can't quite put my finger on it. Anyway, that just about takes care of that request. Let's be on our way, Adel. I'm just happy we can help. All right. Okay, there should be, like, another side quest around here somewhere. Okay, still go back in here? Go inside the well? Are there more enemies here? Hmm. Nope. Okay, then. Alright, let's head over to, like, uh, Shantytown and see what these two things are. I'm surprised I never, like, uh, saw these things here. Hello there, dude. Rom. Never in my lifetime did I... I think I see a fire shop in our shanty town. What's more, one of the Pendleton's very own daughters broke off from them to establish it. They've got no easy task ahead of them, but I am rooting for the place all the same. Thank you! Hello, Siri. I keep staring at the flower shop till the lady there gave you a flower. Hee <laughs> hee, mission complete! I really lucked out! I'm gonna write a letter to my brother so I can brag about it! He's probably dead! <laughs> I keep making the joke, I'm sorry. Hello there! Pedal, pedal. Ugh, even the white cats left us in the lurch. Well, who could blame her? I'm just some loser who cashed in on her kindness. Now that I know what it's like being well to do, working feels that much more pointless. Okay, whatever, dude. Isn't that lady running the flower shop one of the Peltons? Why bother opening one in the slums anyway? I swear, those money grubbers are beyond me. Fuck them! More importantly, you think the white cat's ever gonna come back by again? I mean, yeah, partly because I want more money and all, but her energy's kind of infectious, you know? I always feel a lot better after seeing her. But what about B? Fuck you, then! Well, if it isn't our little shitty town's newest blooming entrepreneur, to think I'd live to see the day the flowers of all things would open up these parts. I've been so busy getting by day and day, I've forgotten how much I adore flowers. You've got a real challenge ahead of you, dearie. Just remember to do your level best. I will! Thank you! Ah, I, I, I sprinted to that line. Okay, so what's this over here? Ah, this dude. Uh, Kabato. Yeah, fuck you, dude. Shit, shit, shit! Where the hell did that kitty cat get off to? What do you expect me to do with all this depth I'm racking up at the casino, eh? You're just gonna hog all the coin to yourself? Some savior, where's your heart? Yeah, fuck you too, fuck you! Hmm, if it ain't the flower shop girl, go ahead and have a bite. Shouldn't taste too bad. Th thank you very much! It does smell nice. Here's a recipe. You can make it yourself if you fancy. Baked potato recipe, thank you. Oh, thank you very much! Err, again! I don't even know who this guy is. Hmm, okay, yeah, I've seen it. Yeah, I already have this too, don't I? Actually, don't. I don't. Okay. Okay, so this should be like something up here. La Petite Fleuriste. Oh, okay. I was wondering like uh, how like uh, Kershaw was going to manage this shop while not being here. Oh, Miss Kershaw, you're back already? Yes, um, I wanted to introduce you to Adol. Well, not the real Adol, you know? Adol, this is Hannah. She works with me here at the flower shop. She used to be an employee at Peloton a long while back. Oh, yes. I was delighted when Chris Kershaw contacted me about opening up her own shop. 
I quit my job after my husband passed, you see, and I've been stuck in a rut ever since. I figured taking this job would be the perfect chance for me to start over again. I'll be buying the store whenever Miss Kirsten is out, so do stop by whenever you can. Oh, now that I think about it, Miss Kirsten, there is something I wanted to ask. Ask? You mean, of me? Uh, if it's about the store, you can always tell me about it later. I'm kinda busy right now, you know, like killing monsters and being a monster and everything. Wait, what? What? Well, it isn't exactly within the scope of the job, per se, but... I was hoping to ask you for your help on something. If you have the time, that is. Go ahead, ask away. Can we table this for now? Go ahead and ask away. I wanted to say the other thing, but that's, that's actually the decline option, and you know, like, I'm, you know, I'm not allowed to say joke stuff in the decline option. I don't know why you guys put the jokes inside of the decline options. Thanks, Tattle. But what is it you want to ask, Hannah? Well, it's about the people living here in Shantytown, actually. Quite a few of them still have yet to give the shop a chance. Really? But I made sure everyone here knew. They know the new store opened up, of course, but they won't even come near. All they see is the paladins open up a shop in a shitty town for God knows what reason. That misunderstanding seems to have led a bit of a bias against us. I see. I can't say I haven't noticed some people thinking of us in that way. I never expected us to garner so much interest either, being a flower shop and all. But be that as it may, our goal is to sow life back into these streets of these and their people. To do that, I'll have to foster a more personal connection between each resident in our shop. Not as a representative of the Pendleton Company, but as Kershaw Pendleton, the cute cinnamon bun! I had a feeling you might say something like that, Miss Kershaw. Let me get to the heart of the matter in that case. There are three people who most blatantly avoid our shop. Capito the fucking asshole, Evan, and Larkus. They'd practically been living off the gold they got from all the white cat commotion. Yeah, I know, those fucking assholes. Apparently, they've been down in the mouth ever since she stopped giving them out coins. So that's what's going on. I'll just have to do something about it. But what to do, exactly? Hey, Adel, Adel, you know, we could... No, Kersha, no. What? I was just going to suggest that we talk things out with them and, you know, give them financial supports. Oh, well, I, I thought you were going to suggest that we splatter the blood all over the fucking place. Well, we could do that now! No, Kershaw! No! Whatever it is, a florist can. You don't need to solve everything. Whatever it is, a florist can. In that case... Flowerist, I mean. Whatever a flower... Florist? I don't even know. Can, huh? Hannah, could you tell me a little more about these three? I'll bring them each a flower that suits them. It'll be like a delayed grand opening sample. Oh? What a wonderful idea. Here, I'll tell you what I know. With the knowledge she granted from Hannah, Trisha selected a flower for each of the men. After placing them in the basket, she and Adel were ready to set off. Well, it's all of you from here, Miss Kersha. Even a cup of should be right around here in the shantytown. You might have to search the center to for Largus, though. I believe he manages a boating service and by the canal the memory serves. Thanks, Hannah. We'll make sure we find them. Okay, Adel. Time to do some customer relations. Quest. Sowing seeds of joy accepted. Ah, oh, man. This is so... Somebody's side quest. What the fuck? Alright, let me talk to these residents first. Alright, anything new you have to say? Everyone's gushing over that flower shop is a gullible chump. It's obvious Pendleton's just trying to spread his influence through the shantytown. Anyone who sides with the ROM is an enemy of ours. One of these days, they'll... <clears throat> I'm surprised you're not this person I should talk to. Very surprised. Alright then, Gaston, you fuck... I mean, Kabuto, you fucking asshole. Um, you're Kabuto, aren't you? I'm Kersha, owner of Le Petit Fleuriste. It's nice to meet you. Fucking asshole. <laughs> well, if it ain't the little Miss Fleuris herself. Pendleton must really be racking in dough to open up a shop in this dump. i had been doing pretty well th myself thanks to the White Cat, till recently at least. Haven't seen her around a while, now I'm up in my ears in debt. I'm... I'm sorry to hear that. I can't even get back to my missus in the country, the way things have gone. <laughs> Only saving grace my life's got now is the old game and gambling. Well, I don't give a shit! But you can't just go on like this. Even if the white cat comes back, it'll only tide you over for so long. 
Her charity alone won't help you out of the situation you're in, I'm afraid. You know, I'm really liking how they, like, are uh, handling this plot line with whole, like, white cat giving money to the poor and everything. It's like, you know, usually, like, they just have them give the money and, like, the poor are able to go on with their life, you know, just ably fine. But here, they're, like, handling it a little bit more maturely and just, like, showing that, like, you know, being handed money, that isn't enough. That isn't enough for you. That will never be enough for you. You have to earn it. It has to be your money. So yeah, I'm really liking how they're like uh dealing with this like plot line. So um, if gambling yourself into debt is making you this miserable, maybe your real saving brave is is somewhere else entirely. Eh? Uh? Kersha gives Kabuto a potato pink flower. In the language of the flowers, this symbolizes hope for the future. I may be out of line by saying any of this, but just know that I'm your corner. Me in your corner, I guess. As for what that saving grace is, I have a feeling you already know. Huh. You really think you know it all, don't you, kid? Get out of here. You make my drink sour. Sorry, I'll leave you two then. Fuck you two. Yeah, fuck you two. S was it okay for me to curse Dan for some adult? Absolutely, curse you. Fuck that guy. Pfft. Saving grace my ass. The hell's a damn flower is no. Yeah, fuck you then. Fuck you. Oh, this dude. Talk to Even. You're that flowerist. Just what do you want from me? Um, well, I heard you'd fallen on hard times, so... Just, I just thought maybe there was something I could do to help. Huh. Well, aren't you a nice one? But you really don't need to go out of your way for someone like me. After all, I thought... I'm already beyond the lost cause. Just being a Galean means higher taxes for me than the Romans. And what wages I do get don't amount to much. Hard work doesn't really pay off around here. I understand. It's hard not to feel that way over just about any job. But you know, money isn't the only thing hard work is good for. So hang in there for just a while longer, okay? Curse your hands, Ivan, and a dazzling yellow flower. In the language of the flowers, this symbolizes a glimmer of hope. I just know you have a colleague out there destined to make you shine. And, um, if you like an example, feel free to stop by our store. Maybe we can help you show you just how fulfilling a job well done can be. I'll... I'll think about that. Wow. I am surprised you didn't say anything weird, Ivan. Honestly, I can't even imagine seeing a job with as anything other than a paycheck. Still, that girl seemed pretty excited about hers. Yeah, I hope I get a job like that one day. Working at Wendy's, like, it, it just isn't fun to me. I'm just not feeling it. The Feeling the whole thing about, like, you know, this job is just for money and everything, you know? I just, I feel a lot better just, like, uh, doing a job that I would love. Like writing or doing these Let's Plays. Is it around here? Link below. Oh! Alright, let's try it again. Hello there, Largus, you fucking asshole. Huh? What? You two looking to get across? Not exactly. My name is Kersha. I run the flower shop in the shanty town. I wanted to reach out to you about the it personally, Largus. <sighs> and what do you want me to do with that? Can't, ex can't exactly fill my stomach with flowers. Maybe I'd drop by if the white cat were still around to dish me some handouts. But now she's stopped and back to working here on a lower salary than ever. Do you have an idea what that does to a man's dignity, crawling back on my knees after quitting? It's all about the money these days. Just once I'd like to get by without working. He just... He just goes to show how irresponsible the white cat was for what she did. All those reckless donations only made people worse off in the end. You're getting really choked up about this. Listen, I'm just blowing off some steam, that's all. Good things come as scarce as ice and hell in this world, so it struck a nerve with me. No, there's plenty of good left in this world. You just have to look past the gold coins. Christian hands Largus a bell-shaped flower. In the language of the flowers, this symbolizes a return to happiness. I hope they start looking out for you soon, sir. I truly mean that. Oh, uh, thanks. I, I, 
I guess I'll see about what you buy your shop when I've got some time to kill. And of course! I hope to see you soon! That's the last of them. We've spoken to everyone now. Let's make our way back to the shop. Ah, I really like Kersha a lot. Sorry for taking things out on you. I had all this coming to me anyway. Throwing a tantrum over it makes me no better than a spoiled babe. Okay, you did a lot better than fucking asshole, whatever his name, Kabuto or something. Fucking asshole. Oh, he drowns his sorrow. But yeah, I really enjoyed this segment, like, this side quest so far. Like, really, like, it's really, like, you, got, you guys gotta understand, you know? Like, I know that, like, uh, jobs can really suck, you know? Like, they suck sometimes. It's really hard trying to, like, work for that, you know, that sweet moolah. But really, you gotta really think about life beyond money and such. And that's why I don't really put much stock into money, to be honest. I just prefer just enjoying my life and everything. But it really just sucks that I have to, like, uh, use money to live. It just sucks. Yeah, it really fucking sucks. But hey, the, the best things that come from life are things that don't relate to money, you know? That kind of stuff, in my opinion. Then again, what the fuck am I talking about? I wouldn't have been able to be even do these last place without money. Welcome back, Miss Kersha. How did, how did promoting the store go? Well, honestly, I'm not too sure I helped them. Especially that fucking asshole Kabuto. Fuck him. All I could really do was let them know how I felt. Turns out this sowing life thing is a little harder than I expected. Miss Kershaw. You aren't giving up, are you? I know you can do it, Kershaw. I know you can. Thanks, Saddle. I won't let this get me down. Let me dig for this day is the only just getting started. Making your dreams a reality is never easy. I just have to give it all I've got. Oh, right. I actually had an idea while running around the Central District. What do you think about putting up a sign on the street that connects it to Shantytown? I was thinking it could help bring in some much-needed bustle around here. I think that's a wonderful idea! We still have some leftover materials from building the shop. Why don't we get started? Oh? Hey, these two came. That's nice. Well, I'll be. If it isn't Ivan and Larkus. This is your first time here, isn't it? Well, I just thought I'd stop by during my break, is all. All the way from the Central District? Gah, quit making such a big fuss over it, woman. I was free too, so I figured I'd come by and say thanks to the, for the flower. Really now? Well, you're very welcome. And thanks for coming too. Sure thing. Oh, we catch you at a, guys at a bad time though? Uh, we're about to make a sign. It's perfect time, actually. Huh? So you're making sign for a store, eh? Well, you've got me in a good mood, so what say we lend you a hand? I'm thinking that the audio is like really low for some reason. Or maybe it's just like, like, like audio. Well, you've got me in a good mood, so what say we lend you a hand? Think of it as a thanks for that flower you brought me. Are you sure? We'd really appreciate it. And we certainly wouldn't want to pass up a so kind of an offer. Hey, fucking asshole, Kabuto. The hell's up with this? Look at them living it up. Ha! Ah, and here I thought they'd just end up window shopping. Chumps, a lot of them. Yeah, fuck you too. Not long after. I, I think that's how you pronounce it, anyways. Here! There! That should do it. Thank goodness the bistro gave us permission to set up the sign. This should help drawing in customers from the Central District a lot easier now. Thank you so much for your help, everyone! Oh, that was nothing, really. Repairing boats is half my resume. Yeah, I guess a job well done really isn't so bad once in a while. Ah, uh, what softies you two turned out to be? Fucking pussies! <laughs> Sorry. Oh, shut it. Anyway, it's time to have a fucking god. Oh god, I can't I'm so surprised. <laughs> oh, shut it. Anyway, it's high time I got back to work. Well, we'll be taking off now. Best of luck for the store. I know I still have a lot to learn, but it feels like I've managed to take another big step in my life. So thanks, Adol. I couldn't have done it without you.
No problem, Kersha. Ah, yeah, Kersha, you, I should love you so much. Moral flower times ten. There we go. Grim one has finally appeared. New Miasma Forte, Central District. Yeah, it should be everything around here. Some stuff over here, too. Oh, yeah, I made this graffiti. This is a question mark. Okay, well, let's just head back to base for a quick second. I don't have, like, more stuff to do, but I'm kind of low on time at, at the moment. Anyways, guys, I think that's a perfect time to end this episode off. Man, I can't believe I got completely sidetracked by, like, those side quests and everything. Like, what the fuck? Well, at least we all know that Horizon Zero Dawn is still being a piece of shit to me. Fucking God! So many side quests! But yeah, overall, I'm, like, really enjoying, like, everything that's happening so far with the side quests and everything. And I'm glad that they're as still as deep as always. You know, like, even in Lacrimosa of Dawn, the side quests were surprisingly deep that I thought they would be, you know? But it feels in this one, like, it's really, like, really, really deep. Like, first off, like, the, the blacksmith's, like, uh, father that passed away. And his soul was in the Grimwald Knox trying to connect to his, like, you know, children and everything. Then there's the whole stuff with Kersha and, like, you know, dealing with the idea of, like, you know, what is truly valuable in life. Like, money or, you know... The effort that you put in to make someone's life better, you know? I like that as well, you know? It's just, it just brings a lot more realism into this game and everything. So yeah, I'm overall like, really enjoying what's happening within the side quest so far. It's a lot better than what happened in Horizon Zero Dawn, I'll tell you that much. And yeah, I'm planning on like a, you know, the Grimwald Nox has appeared, and I should be able to break through that barrier. But I'll have to do that in the next episode, because I am really low on time. So anyways guys, I hope you all enjoyed this episode of East 9 Monstrum Nox. If you did, please be sure to leave a like and a comment down below, and be sure to subscribe if you have not already. And I promise you guys that this Therian will be around for the next episode. As always guys, fare thee well.